Welcome aboard everyone. Today's video is about the electrofishing survey that we conducted at the Sugar Hill Outdoors Pond last week. An electrofishing boat is basically a fish taser. It puts an electrical current into the water that stuns the fish and allows us to capture them. There's a lot of misconceptions that go along with uh, this form of sampling. People think that you're going to put this boat in and see all the biggest fish in the lake, and that's really not how it works. It samples a small portion of the fish in the lake, but it's also very unbiased. It samples all the fish that get in to this field, and the field the two star looking things in the front of the arrays is the positive side. The negative side is the aluminum boat itself. So you're standing on the ground. That's why you don't get electrocuted. I'm going to just summarize what we found first. I would usually do it at the back, but let's just get it over with. The fish look great and we're growing well. The one thing, eh, sometimes it's what you don't see. And what we didn't see during the survey was a very good number of three to four inch bluegill. Even though we have plenty of like one to two inch bluegill, and then we have plenty of five plus inch bluegill around the feeder, there's a ridiculous number around there. You guys have seen them on the videos before. But our bass weighed fine. We had no problem with our bass weights. And I'm just kind of going off of experience here. I wasn't happy with the numbers of bluegill in the three to four inch range that we're seeing. So we implemented a slot limit on the one pound bass. We're going to remove 31 pound bass to alleviate some hunting pressure off of that size class of bluegill to allow a few more of those to survive. And that's real common. It happens a lot in pond management. You need to harvest. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Oh yeah, see the difference? Got a lot of bluegill. Are they responding good or you want me to go up some? Nah, you're good. I just didn't want to go too high. Look at there. RE. I stocked. That's a real important fish to have. You know what that is? Uh -uh. That's a red ear. Some people call it a shell cracker. Yeah. Um, it cracks. See how its mouth is different? Yeah. It has pharyngeal teeth back there. Huh. And it can crack freshwater mussels. Yeah. And those mussels are the host of the parasites on the fish. Huh. It's also the only sunfish that can take advantage of that protein source off the bottom. Yeah. So without them, there's a whole host of snails that yeah. won't get, you know, that can't be transferred to bass protein without those fish in there. That's, really That's why we stock them. That's really interesting. I get the good fish. No dogs. You get the bass right there? Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to push a few in there. There he is. There's that scoliosis, first fish. First fish. It's all right. That's crazy. Scoliosis on the first fish. Yeah. Oof. Oh, forward, forward, forward. Come out from under that rock. Yeah. You see how they change colors in that muddy water? Yeah. Like a dang chameleon. Yeah. When we get back to the dock, I want to see. You got you got your scanner with you? It'll tell you which one's which. Yeah. I want to see if I can guess them before you scan them. Oh. I just want to see if the, if the theory I have that you can tell the difference. People tell me I can't, but I swear to God I can't. I can't. Like that. That's just that's an interesting, very interesting to say the least. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's slow. Still fast. Okay. I think we've had more than two spawns. Yeah, 
Like, yeah, what the hell is that? What that shit I just picked up? What is that? Where'd that come from? That wasn't born last spring. Not in no, hell no, not in here. That had to have been born last fall. Yeah, no, I had a guy tell me, he said it was all stress. He said the fish's mouth ain't red. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, you gotta, uh, you gotta go ahead first. Yeah. Grab the back of his shorts so we don't fall in. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I had a guy tell me, he said, it's all stress. He said, when you stress the fish out, as soon as you hook it, right here, as soon as you hook it, just like when they turn colors. When oh, it could them, be that too, he said, sure. The blood just rushes to their mouth. Yep. And I was like, well, damn, that makes sense. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because eating stuff, I mean, they eat stuff all the time. Like they, they, uh, I mean, they, you know, they run their face into stuff all the time. And it's like, if that was the truth, then their whole face would be always red. always be red, yeah. right. But there's times it is, times it isn't. And I was like, huh. Yeah, I, I, I can see that being stress-induced. Stress yeah. He said it's just because they said, you know, their skin changes colors like 10 times faster than ours does. So yeah, oh yeah. Well, don't again. There's uh, just because. Um, just because we don't pull them doesn't mean there wasn't one there. Oh, yeah. You want to scan it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Northern. All right. Yeah, that's scan. Northern bass. Seventeen and a quarter. Seventeen and a quarter. So it should be about two point eight standard. Three point two four. Very good. Very yep. good. Awesome. Ready when he wants pictures. He likes the beach. <laughs> he's vegetarian. Now, if that fish is skinny, <laughs> he's coming out. I'm going to. Don't worry. If I start seeing a pattern of skinny at 14 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches, those fish come out. That's how I know how to harvest and when to harvest. When my fish start losing weight, I know there's too many in that size class, and that's how biologists make a slot limit. Now look at the mouth to body width ratio. That'll tell you a lot just from looking at it. What about those scars on his back? Bird. Yeah. You scanned or no? No. Yeah, he's got scars. Oh, yeah, he did. There you go. Northern. 16.6. 16 and a half should be about 2.5. 2.4. Hey, Shan, two for two on my guess. But <laughs> he might have a little, his little infection. Yeah, he's got some infection that going. Was the heron that got him? or? Yeah, that's a heron. What are you looking at, Alex? Coloration and the tail shape. And the, the, the well, they're just in this pond. They've been popping up as bigger. So they tag. Yeah, the northerns are all bigger. They seem, they seem to have some bad scoliosis in the northerns. Yeah, they do. Yeah, like 15.8. And we're going to mark that as scoliosis, right? So that's not really going to give me a true measurement here. 3.24. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's bent. He's, a he's probably a half inch too short because right. his spine's crooked. Yep. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you got to make note of that. And he will score a high relative weight, but he also has scoliosis, which is skewing the data. But even if you add but he, was an a inch. Pound, he was a pound higher. Yeah. yeah, even if you add an inch, he's still killing it. So he's going back in the lake. We oh, want yeah. fish like that spawning. I've, I bet I've caught him before. Mm -hmm. I got a little log book where I scanned him and ripped right. Like, he's got a lot lighter, too. Well, color is dictated by water and color. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, easy killer. Hey, hey, he's a pretty fish. He's ready to get back in the water. Yeah, well, if he could be still, he could. All right, 15.8. 15.8, I call it 16, 2.2. 2.22. Good to go. <clears throat> Sounds like you know what you're talking about. I've done it once. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Today's my second day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How am I doing? Day. Yeah, that's 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 not an original, I don't think. Unless he's just underperformer. 14.8. 14.8. So 1.6. Yeah, he's falling right in there good. Probably a second gender. Garrett will take those numbers normally and write them down and give an exact measurement. Clint and I have been doing exact measurements for a long time. So we're just doing this quickly for content to speed this whole process up. Virginia Clark caught 1.6 is standard. 1.58. Throw him back. A tenth of a pound to get you every time. You see, they eat it up. Phone yeah. going. Phone saves me in the end every time. 14 and a half. 14 and a half, about 1.6. It's going to be bigger than that. 1.82. Ooh, solid growth. Now, normally what you see in a stunted pond, it'll say it'll be 14 inches, like one pound. Yeah, I got some pictures of those. Yeah, they look long and skinnier. And that's your sign you need to harvest. Yeah, I think this is your second size, yeah, yeah, your second so. year class. Yeah. They're gonna just bite the tail off your They're line. mean, I tell you what. Uh, well, they should 14. be, I'm hoping they're F1, so they 1.5 or better. They're aggressive, that's for sure. 1.52. Or better. They don't like you touching them in the ice chest. Yeah, that's one year old fish. Yeah. All right. To him, is Garrett's going to weigh and measure him? 8.8. .8. And he's going to go back in there a little bit lethargic. And today is his last day, I can promise you, that one of those big bass will light him up. 0.34. And that's the point. Oh, you don't even have that on your show. No, nah, I don't even yeah, measure him under 10. Um, now that's forage. That's bass forage. Yeah. Kind of important bass forage too, really.